on this very unfortunate incident which happened on the 9th, where one of our members was uh, filmed uh, uh, grabbing a traffic police officer, I want, uh, on behalf of UPDF, to sincerely apologize to the police and to this house and the people of Uganda for whatever happened. And I know some of the things that have been happening and they are regrettable. There was no reason at all for one of us to interfere with the duties of the police. General Gone, you, you have my protection. There's no reason at all, and um, it was um, it is an, uh, unacceptable and uh, unforgivable. Right, Honorable Speaker, and Honorable Members, that um, soldier, uh, Private Derek Tumine, has been arrested and uh, is, fet is facing the court. UPDF is a disciplined force. We believe in the rule of law. And we shall always promote the rule of law in this country. We have some errant elements, but we shall always deal with them. There's no question about that. So I want to assure this House that we shall do what it takes to bring this officer to, to account for whatever happened. Thank you. Thank you very much, right, Honorable thank, Speaker. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Erel. Uh, and, 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 and the colleagues, these are not mere words of uh, an MP. They are words of a deputy CDF. So we take them seriously. Uh, what is causing the clash between the UPDF and police officers is being disrespectful and ego. Because these are the forces that are serving the people of Uganda. Being a UPDF does not mean that you are superior and above the policemen. You all have different responsibilities and different issues that you serve. And I really want to call upon uh, UPDF authorities to come on board and deal with these personalities that are tainting the image of UPDF. I don't think that all UPDF officers behave like that. But you know there are some few elements who think that once they are in UPDF, they are over and above these other forces. And, uh, and therefore this rift needs to be dealt with. And I think the CDF should come on board to deal with such elements that are defiant, that are degrading other people, that do not want to work with other people. Because when the policemen are on duty, that is their responsibility. You cannot interfere with UPDF when they are also on their responsibility. So for me, I think that these are things that all the officers, especially the CDF, should come on board and handle this thing of arrogance, of intimidating other forces. And us as a committee, by the way, we have picked interest. And when we meet with them, these are some of the things that we shall handle with regard to defend, I mean, undermining other forces. If you undermine the UPD, I mean the police forces, what picture are you showing to the public? Does that mean that even the public should be defiant? So we want them to work in a harmonious way. They are both serving people, they are serving the same government, they are serving Uganda. This business of crushing is an embarrassment to the public, and also they should come out and apologize to the public because they are embarrassing the public. The suggestion that the police should get a representative, sorry, MPs in parliament. Well, that is not a big deal. It's not that having representatives here in Parliament would stop them from behaving the way they behave. I mean, they are authorities. The, the, the CDF should really ch check the, 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 the defiant people. He should check them. He should take a whip. And I mean, you've seen members of Parliament here. You've seen people in Parliament. It does not mean that when you are representative here, you are, you, you are going to speak for the forces. We are here. As a committee, we shall speak the different forces. And therefore, for me, what I want to see 
is the army coming out? One, to deal with those culprits. Two, to apologize to police and to apologize to the public.